Okay, class, today we're in section 1.5, use a problem-solving plan. 1.5, use a problem-solving plan. Before, you use problem-solving strategies. Now, you will use a problem-solving plan to solve problems. Key vocabulary, formula. Key concept, a problem-solving plan. Step one, read and understand. Read the problem carefully. Identify what you know and what you want to find out. Step two, make a plan. Decide on an approach to solving the problem. Step three, solve the problem. Carry out your plan. Try a new approach if the first one isn't successful. Try a new approach if the first one isn't successful. Step four, look back. Once you obtain an answer, check that it is reasonable. Example one, read a problem and make a plan. Running. You run in a city. Short blocks are north to south and are 0.1 miles long. Long blocks are east to west and are 0.15 miles long. You will run two long blocks east, a number of short blocks south, two long blocks west, and back to your start. You want to run two miles at a rate of seven miles per hour. How many short blocks must you run? All right, now take a look at your diagram to be sure you have a better understanding of what's going on. Notice it says short blocks are what? Are north to south and are 0.1 mile long. So north to south, that would be here, and they're 0.1 mile long. And then it said long blocks are east to west and are 0.15 miles long. All right, so east to west and are 0.15 miles long. Here, they're just 0.1 miles long. Or you can say this is like tenth of a mile. All right, so this is to make sure you have an idea of what you're looking at and what you're trying to determine. Solution, step one, read and understand. What do you know? You know the length of each size block, the number of long blocks you will run, and the total distance you want to run. You can conclude that you must run an even number of short blocks because you run the same number of short blocks in each direction. What do you want to find out? You want to find out the number of short blocks you should run so that, along with the four long blocks, you run two miles. Once again, you want to find out the number of short blocks you should run so that along with the four long blocks, you run two miles. Step two, make a plan. Use what you know to write a verbal model that represents what you want to find out. Then write an equation and solve it as in example two. Example two, solve a problem and look back. Solve the problem in example one by carrying out the plan. Then check your answer. Solution, step three, solve the problem. Write a verbal model, then write an equation. Let S be the number of short blocks you run. So, length of a short block times number of short blocks plus length of a long block times number of long blocks equals total distance. Length of a short block, 0.1. Number of short blocks, we don't know. We call that S. Length of a long block, 0.15. Number of long blocks, 4. Total distance, 2 miles. The rate at which you run is given, but is not needed to solve the problem. The information is irrelevant. The information is irrelevant. All other given information is relevant and no information needed to solve the problem is missing. The equation is 0.1 times s, 0.1 times s, plus 0.6 is equal to 2. Okay, now some of you might be wondering where the 0.6 came from. That would be 0.15 times 4. 0.15 times 4 we give you 0.6. So once again, the equation is 0.1 times s plus 0.6 plus 
plus 0.6 is equal to 2. One way to solve this, this equation is to use the strategy guess and check and revise. Guess an even number that is easily multiplied by 0.1. Try 20. Check whether 20 is a solution. 0.1 times s plus 0 0.06 is equal to 2. So in place of s, we put 20. So 0.1 times 20 plus 0.6 is equal to 2. Well, 0.1 times 20 plus 0.6 is equal to 2.6. So 2.6 does not equal 2. So we're going to revise. Because 2.6 is greater than 2, try an even number less than 20. Try 14. Check whether 14 is a solution. So we got 0.1 times s plus 0.6 is equal to 2. We're going to substitute 14 for s. So 0.1 times 14 plus 0 0.06 is equal to 2. So 2 is equal to 2. That means that it is, it is a solution. So to run 2 miles, you should run 14 short blocks along with 4 long blocks you run. To run 2 miles, you should run 14 short blocks along with the 4 long blocks that you run. Step 4. Look back. Check your answer by making a table. You run 0.6 miles on long blocks. Each two short blocks add 0.2 miles. So short blocks, when it's at 0, you're at 0.6. If you ran two short blocks, your total distance would be 0.8. 4, 1.0. 6, 1.2. 8, 8 short blocks is 1.4. 10 short blocks, 1.6. 12, 1.8, and 14 is 2.0. The total distance is 2 miles when you run 4 long blocks and 14 short blocks. The answer in step 3 is correct. Formula. Formulas. A formula is an equation that relates two or more quantities. You may find it helpful to use formulas in problem solving. Key concept. Formulas. Temperature. Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times F minus 32, where F is equal to degrees Fahrenheit and C is equal to degrees Celsius. Simple interest, I is equal to P times R times T, where I is equal to interest, P is equal to principal, R is the interest rate as a decimal, and time is T, and T is time. Distance traveled. Distance or D is equal to R times T, where D is the distance traveled, R is the rate, or constant or average speed, and T is equal to time. Profit. P is equal to I minus E, where P is profit, I is equal to income, and E is equal to expenses. Review formulas. For additional formulas, see page SR16 through SR20 and the table of formulas on page T2 through T3. Example 3, standardized test practice. You are making a leather book cover. You need a regular piece of leather as shown. Find the cost of the piece if leather costs 25 cents per square inch. Okay, will the answer be A? $14.50, B, $49.50, C, $58, or D, $198. Okay, look at your diagram to be sure you know what's going on. Here you have the length being 18 and the width being 11. Solution. Use the formula for the area of a rectangle. Area is equal to length times width, with L equal to 18 inches and W is equal to 11 inches. Once again, A is equal to length times width. Write the area formula. Substitute 18 for L and 11 for W. 18 for L, 11 for W. Simplify. 18 times 11 is 198. So the area is 198 square inches. So the total cost is 0.25 or 25 cents times 198, which is equal to $49.50. So the correct answer is B.